Hello, beautiful beings. So my phone uh, just glitched. <laughs> but I, I was saying that one of my dearest friends called me last night. And I told her when I'm talking in a video and I say one of my dearest friends <laughs> that it was her. <laughs> so um, so I asked her if she could, I said, told her what I was working on. I was working on compassion and, you know, what we really touched on. And so she's very young. She's only like, how old are you? <laughs> 19? <laughs> anyway, but she's a very old soul. Um, she's a starseed. And... So the conversations I get to have with her are very, very deep because she's such an old soul. Um, and anyway, so I asked her if she could help me with my perception of, you know, on compassion. And immediately it started shifting. Just, I mean, there's magic in satsang. Have I ever told you that? So I haven't had a complete shift yet. However, it's, it's much like forgiveness. When I and I yeah that's right I started saying this in one of my last videos but I I tend to bunny trail as you know, and so forgiveness forgiving somebody may seem very selfish uh, the way I do it, but it's when I start working on forgiving somebody I pray for them for two weeks and and it's not difficult to do that for me anymore, but in the past it used to be, and and so when I would start praying for somebody. I would just say, bless that bitch, or that son of a bitch, or something you know, like that. And um, it was actually actually working. It's, something was changing. Like this, I, I was feeling, oh, they're saying compassion. Oh, that's right, because I remember when I quit drinking... I had somebody that I had a major resentment against and I started praying for him right away and I said I would say God ble please bless that son of a bitch and and it was working and about 6 days in I started feeling different but I didn't know what what the feeling was it was very unfamiliar to me <laughs> concerning this person too it was very unfamiliar because I'd gotten so used to nurturing and loving and, and feeding the resentment tequila. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I bunny trailed for just a second. Okay, but, and I'm also having more of a realization because about, they're showing me about nine to eleven days in praying I finally realized that it was compassion I was starting to feel for this person I was praying for and so no wonder compassion and forgiveness it feels like the same process I start praying for somebody so I can release this this resentment I have towards them because it's only well, it's it's hurting both of this them, but mainly myself first. Uh, and so I pray for them so I can be released, but it also helps them too. So same thing with compassion. Oh yeah, I guess I could pray for people for two weeks if I'm not feeling compassionate towards them. Or unforgiving. Because I understand it, I do, I understand logically, I understand why he yelled at me. He yelled at me because he's been holding in all these things that he's been thinking and feeling about me. And that, and, and he's frustrated because he knows that it's never going to happen, ever. And it uh, really bothers him how nice I've been to him. I know that sounds strange, but uh, I need to not quite see that's where it's a I just want to I would just want to be myself uh, however certain people's personal conditioning they're seeing from that from there they're seeing me from there and that also includes a lot of desires a lot of personal desires that they put on me I don't have those type of personal desires anymore I don't, 
no. Anyway, I'm not going to get off on, uh, go off onto that trail. Um, okay, so I need to pray for him for two weeks. And then the compassion feeling will come. But I already, I do have it more than I ever have. Uh, anyway, I think that's an, enough of that. I'll definitely t let you know if I get even more realizations about that because of course that's uh, it's just another another obstacle to complete freedom removed being able to be in a situation like that and not react and have that be my automatic that's how it will be that's absolutely how it will be because it just takes a bit more practice and being very aware in any situations and and being aware and that's not being pessimistic at all uh, actually in the last couple months I fully realized that things will always come up tests will come up to see where I'm at and and you know is there anything left in there to trigger it's, it's very important that this channel is cleared out as much as possible to get clear, open messages to whoever it is that I'm interacting with, whoever I'm holding satsang with. I was thinking of a, a checker at the grocery store. I was thinking of her and her partner last night. And then I went to the grocery store today, and there she was. And I said, hey... I was thinking about you last night, you and your partner specifically, how's it going? And she opened right up because for a couple of years now, we've been having brief interactions and, and she's been more and more open with me. And today, I finally, uh, she finally has my phone number. And, uh, you know, I said this, so, okay, great, this is awesome. And she was just like, yes, please, yes. I said, do you want my phone number? It's the first time I've asked her in all this time. And yes, please. Yes, she was like, uncle, uncle, okay, okay, yes. And I said, okay, I don't, you know, I won't be calling you or messaging you, um, but but I'm here if these things come up. If you can override your brain when it says, oh, this isn't a, a, an, an important enough thing to talk to her about or call her about or bother her about. To the myself and the ancients, if it's bothering you, if it's something you can't stop thinking about, and it's just playing over and over and a bunch of different scenarios about it and you know just you know so much mental activity then it's worth talking about because that's what we're here for is to start weeding those things out and after a while and, and addressing something that's acutely gnawing uh, on the person's brain you know um, attacking I used to call them um, attacks spin outs brain attacks, mind attacks. Uh, so when somebody, when I hold satsang with somebody, when somebody calls me and they're in, in great distress, I immediately, it just happens automatically, I immediately go to presence of no th and no thoughts and, and messages start coming through for that person. And, and uh, clear, clear messages for me so I can see exactly what is at the taproot of whatever it is that's bothering them and why it's bothering them and why it keeps coming up there the person isn't always necessarily ready for all that information and that's so amazing um, how it comes through part uh, so much of the practice has been to go slower with all the information that's coming through and to not overwhelm the person of course with all the information that's coming through so it's so beautiful because not too much comes out, especially now that I'm I'm mastering having it come out more slowly. And I do have I've told the per, the person that um, I'm holding satsang with for years now, whoever it is, what I am working on, why I'm going so fast, and I I'm really working on going slower. There's just so much energy, so much life force coming through, and. Uh, it's, it's really beautiful. I feel like I'm doing pretty pretty great with it. Ancients, is there anything else we would like to talk about before we finish the video? 
Oh, I my speaker's back on, so it might shut off any second and make my video glitch again. So I think I'm just going to go for now. Oh, where is it? They want me to share the poem about my twin. Maybe I can remember it. It's on my phone. It was an experience I had with him about three years ago now. You know, on the astral, of course, I was talking to him, and it and it was at that point I was still um, uh, doing energy work on him. I uh, even when we were still in uh, in each other's presence, I could get into his body and do energy work and like help him feel better. And you know, I, I definitely quit doing that. I, I, yeah, I haven't done that for a long time now because it was um, definitely depleting me, definitely taking from me. Um, why are we talking about that? Oh, right, the poem. I'll just put it in the description box. Thank you. Right, because I can't, I can't remember it perfectly right now, and I just, uh, I want to write it. I want to say it and write it like, like it came through. It's just so, so beautiful. The, the words came out describing the experience that, that I had just had with him and that was, it was very, very amazing. We've had so many amazing experiences and we will always look back on this time, uh, spending so much time, especially this last few months. It's, it's been just so beautiful because, because of the lack of resistance that I feel from you now. It's, it's very life-giving. This will always feel like a very special time. Um, before before uh, our union and our our reunion and you know I've already seen how many years we get to spend together in these physical forms together on the earth plane uh, this time but then um, the different thing about us finding each other this time is that when when we leave the planet we we will come back to help humanity in some some way i i feel and uh but we won't come back unconscious again it, it will never be the same we will never have to go through the same lessons and lo looking for each other and searching for each other and all of that was to learn sp specific things and we signed up for all of it all of it because we're here to help humanity. And they're saying right now, I don't really know how to verbalize it, but they're saying, showing me that we will help, be able to help more than humanity, different, different life planes. All right, I love you so much. Uh, Satsang with Mama G at gmail.com, or you could, uh, Talk to us in the comment section.